Hi, my name is Nick Davis, and welcome to our short video presentation on violence in schools, what can be done to ensure your staff are adequately protected in accordance with guidance. And by this, what we mean is what can be done in terms of ensuring your staff are adequately prepared and trained to deal with such incidents. Now, you may be a head teacher, a deputy head, or maybe a member of the senior management team, or possibly even a school or college governor. And in this respect, it's probably highly likely that at some point you're going to be dealing with or dealing with the consequences of some form of violent incident which has occurred in your school or college. Now, your job is difficult enough, but having to deal with incidents such as this can make it even more difficult. Just to illustrate the scale of the problem, in 2012 to 2013, it was reported that there were a total of 17,680 incidents of violence against school staff, which worked out on average to about 93 per day. Also in primary schools, it was reported in 2013 that there were 40 assaults by pupils on staff on average per day. Of course, you hear about the more extreme incidents occurring, which fortunately are few and far between. The one that springs to mind is, of course, the very tragic incident involving Anne Maguire in June 2014. Now, that obviously involved a weapon, and fortunately, incidents involving weapons are very few and far between. However, more recently, we've had the case of a supply teacher in Bradford who was attacked with a knife by a pupil in his class. So these incidents are still ongoing and therefore the risk is still quite high. So how does this affect you? Well, obviously you have a duty of care. As being a person in a position of responsibility, you have a duty of care, but not just from an educational point of view. As an employer, you have a duty of care under health and safety legislation. Also, if you happen to be a provider of state education, you have a duty of care under the Human Rights Act. So what can you do about this? Well, fortunately, the Department of Education's guidance in 2013, which came out, basically illustrates three key points which you can follow in order to ensure that your staff are supported and the risk to them are reduced to acceptable levels. And as experts in this field, what we're doing is providing a free talk on these three key points, which we uh, are very happy to come out and deliver to you to you and your staff, and basically what it will do is illustrate how these three key points can assist you to understand how to reduce the risks against your staff in relation to dealing with violence in school and possibly even having to use restraint of some form or another. So, in order to um, sign up for this free talk, all you need to do is, on the page where this video is embedded, there's a sign up box, and all you need to do is enter your name, your email address, and a convenient contact number that we can get hold of you on. And somebody from either N. Davis Training or Caring Interventions will get in touch in order to arrange the time for the free talk. Like I say, we'll come along, we'll deliver this talk to you and your staff, and we'll happily answer any questions, any queries, any points of clarification that you'd like to know about. So as I say, in order to uh, receive this free talk, all you need to do is sign up. So uh, enter those details in there, and we'll be in touch, and we'll very much look forward to meeting you at some future date. Thanks very much.